What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 11 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question says that Sally works at a store, and it gives some information about how much Sally is going to save of her paycheck, where X represents her paycheck and Y represents her savings. Now, in order to do a question like this, the big idea is to translate word problems into inequalities. This is a bit different from just equations, because we're going to have to look for words that represent either less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or greater than. So let's go ahead and look at some of the information the problem gives us. So first, I'll just make a big note that X is the paycheck and Y is the savings. So if I look at my first bullet point, when it says Sally will save, that tells me this is a Y equation because I'm getting the amount she saves from the information in this, I see at least, and at least tells me that y is going to be more than or equal to. So that, that's what at least translates to, more than or equal to. If I have at least $5, I could have $5. That would fulfill at least, but I could also have 6 7 8 and so on. So y is greater than or equal to $20 more than. Now more than is something that I translate into addition, but when I see half of her paycheck, wait, paycheck. Paycheck is x. So that's going to be 1 half x plus 20. $20 more than half her paycheck. So next, I see another thing that talks about what she can save. I see it most, and that is going to translate to less than or equal to. At most, $80 more than, so I'm going to have something plus 80. Two-thirds of her paycheck. So two-thirds of X. She can save, at most, $80 more than two-thirds of her paycheck. So we've taken all the words in this problem and translated them into something mathematical. And now it says her paycheck each month, so this is X now is at least more than or equal to 1,200, but no more than, less than or equal to 1,850. All right, so now we have four equations to work with, and I'll underline them each in red. Y is greater than or equal to 1 half X plus 20. Y is less than or equal to 2 thirds X plus 80. X is more than or equal to 1,200, and X is less than or equal to 1,850. Now all we have to do is look for an answer choice that matches these four equations. I can see A on my screen right now, so I'll I will take care of that. X is less than or equal to half of Y plus 20. That looks really sim similar to this first equation, but the sign's in the wrong direction, and we have X and Y that have switched places. So just based on that first equation, I know my answer won't be A. So I move on to choice B. Y is more than or equal to 1 half X plus 20. Okay, that's my first equation, that's good. Y is less than or equal to 2 thirds X plus 80. That's my second equation, so we're still good. X is more than or equal to 1200. X is less than or equal to 1850. Okay, I am really liking choice B so far, but I do want to knock out C and D just to be sure. So choice C. Y is less than or equal to 1 half X plus 20. Oh wait, less than, this was greater than or equal to. If there's even one bit of difference, it can't be the answer. And which actually makes this a little easy because I can just find one bit of difference in an answer choice and say that it's not it. So now for D, X is greater than or equal to 1 half Y. X is less than or equal to 2 thirds Y. Y is more than or equal to 1200. Y is less than or equal to 1850. This all looks really good, except our X's should be Y's and our Y's should be X's. Choice D is out. Choice B is the only answer left that matches all four of the equations that we constructed from the information in the problem.